way to a scintillating semi-final guaranteed. Who will come out on top in this one? Adrian Lewis leads 16-10 in their head-to-heads. What about a prediction? Why don't you Twitter us? At Sky Sports Dart, the place to be. Your commentators for this one, Wayne Mardle and Rod Studd. Thanks, Dave. This is a real biggie in the quarterfinals. Two-time world champion against the two-time beaten finalist in the match play, Adrian Lewis against Terry Jenkins. They met at the World Championship just about seven months ago in the quarterfinals. Lewis defeated Jenkins, always had him at arm's length in that match. Will it be a different story here? The ball has rode his luck in this tournament so far. Could, should have been knocked out by high reps in the first round. Struggled against Barney for long periods. Lewis has had an easier passage. In fact, he's only lost seven legs in the entire tournament. And he starts favourite way, doesn't he? And rightfully so. Absolutely cruised through so far as Adrian Lewis. But this will not be such a game. Terry Jenkins starts in decent fashion, wasn't it? My goodness, we didn't have to wait long. We know what Adrian Lewis can do, two times world champ. Biggest talent in the game of darts. But Terry Jenkins is the fighter. He's the terrier. So it should be a quality matchup. Well, these two have had 12 meetings on TV, and it's 6 5 to Adrian Lewis. Adds up to 11, I know. We've a draw in the Premier League, and they've had some crackers in the Premier League over the shorter format. This is first to 16. 100. So there's going to be picks and troughs, and the thing is, Rod. It really is, for me, all about Adrian Lewis. If he can put his foot on the gas and get a commanding lead, Terry, OK, we know he's a fighter, but he will leave himself a lot to do. We'll just see it going that way. Theoretically, Adrian Lewis should have too much scoring firepower for Terry Jenkins, but he's a hitter of clutch doubles, Jenkins. He wants tops, and he starts terrifically. Terrific from Terry, started with a 180 and finished with a double at the first time of asking. That's an ideal start. Against Raymond van Barneveld. Terry finished the game better than he started. So after 23 legs, when the game ended, he was ready for another battle. And exactly the same against Kim Hyrex in the first round. Well, if you're going to start legs off, start off with a 180. Terry has done that. And the two legs so far. 100. What a confidence boosting, confidence building start for Terry the Bull. No question who is the crowd favourite. The popular Terry Jenkins. The amiable man from Hertfordshire. It's all about the ball. The former antique stealer. It's a good marker for Terry. He's got a switch. Gonna go for 18s. 84. He did. It's amazing how Terry Jenkins' career has really taken lift off since he adopted the character. And he was reticent to do it. He's quite 56. shy and retiring, really, Terry. He doesn't join in the uh, all the boisterousness and all that comes with the glitz and glamour of TV darts. He just kind of gets on with it. And when he does 44. the little ball thing, when he comes on stage, it's like, um, I don't really want to, but I know you like it. <laughs> well, you may have witnessed this hilarious double act around the Pleasure Beach with uh, Andy Smith the other day. Well worth watching if you can... Access that on the website, absolutely hilarious. No laughing matter here though. And he won't be going out here on 134, but he'll be leaving this very handy. He'll be leaving tops. 76. 76. The reigning champ of the world. Double eight. Double four. Well, that was an important double already. This is that. Terry 
could have broke didn't give him the chance at the tender age of 27 Adrian Lewis he does seem to have been around for years you know he's twice world champ but he's been runner up in so many more majors Grand Prix, Premier League, European Championships semi-final here twice he's a World Cup winner wow for a 27 year old that's not bad is it oh he's already had two check make that three that's a max in every leg from Terry Jenkins we may have expected all the maxes from this man that's four 180s in two and a half legs Rod shocking standard shocking oh, it goes 16-14 at that rate not about 50 of them Can you see Adrian Lewis there annoyed with himself saying 80 he knows after a 180 it's not good enough Terry has come out the blocks like a raging ball. What a start this is for Terry Jenkins and Adrian Lewis has had to hit an important double four just to be only 2 1 down. Jenkins has hit three maximums and hit every double he's aimed at. Wow. Well, these two have now hit the same amount of 180s in the tournament. That is 11. 85. The treble from 80. Looks in control of this leg. And the way Terry's it in the 180s. You wouldn't bet against him, would you? 140. Oh. 140, hit 180 in every leg. I wonder what the record for legs with 180s in. There's Lewis hits another. Well, that's five already. Standard is incredible. Early days, I know, but Terry Jenkins average 114. 11. Tops for a 12 data and two all. This is quite a reasonable standard of darts, isn't it? Well, Adrian Lewis, I said, hasn't been pushed. Well, he's certainly being pushed now. And he's answering all the questions, isn't he? 103 for Lewis. 111 for Terry. Yeah, it's OK. Carry on, guys. Please carry on. Oh, Lewis has had to... He's had three, it's three all in maximums. What on earth is going on up there? What a performance from both players. And you wonder how Terry feels if he goes in at the break 3 2 down, having played arguably the best five legs of darts he's ever played at the Winter Garden stage. This is not one of them games where your mate says, Oh, there were six one eights in four legs, and you give it, Oh, stop it, you're lying. Oh, this is brilliance from both. Jenkins had a maximum in each of the first three legs. Lewis is now on a, a streak of a maximum in three straight legs. Legs three, four and five. 100. Adrian Lewis, of course, beat Robert Thornton 10-0 in the first match. And out of sorts, Thorn. And then he was 7-0 up against Andy Smith. Which went 17. Adrian, livid with himself. Absolutely livid. Terry losing the line. Should not go for a 60. Well, that's twice he's gone for an 18. And twice, I think he's gone in the same hole of the four. Well, he could be in a hole in this let. Well, that's a bit of a let off because the way Lewis has been firing would have expected more than 60. So Jenkins looking to leave a single data. Still do it. If he the red bit 100 Asian Europe 119 triple 19 
gets it. Treble 12. Bullseye. 94. Most Can players go for a big 12. Yet? Adrian goes straight at the treble. Aggressive all the way. Double 12 for Jenkins. What a performance from the raging ball. He has hit every double he's looked at in the first five legs of this match. Three maximums apiece. Two of them. In 07, he defeated Ronnie Baxter. In 09, he defeated Raymond Van Barneveld. On both occasions, he went on to reach the final. He leads 3 2 early doors against Lewis. Lady coming out with 58. Terry's hit three 180s. Two of them. 100. The first throw of the leg. I thought he was going to do it again. Impressive stuff from both. There we see. Bear in mind, there's only been five legs. So six 180s, three apiece. Three 140s apiece. Goodness, that really is impressive. And so are those figures. 140. This is a very assured performance from Terry Jenkins. His peppering 59. of the triple 20 has been a delight to the eye. Really is prime form. Prime beat from the ball. Very good. There is a ball. Was it a devil? Look like a devil with a ball ring. 60. I'm totally confused 156. with him. Yes. Hybrid devil ball. Well, might not be to... Well, he did well, didn't he? I was questioning whether he could deflect one down there with the way those darts were lying, but that was brilliant. Kim Hybrex had eight darts to beat Terry. Terry Obviously, none were successful. But now, here he is in the quarterfinals, battling for a place in the semis. Another leg for Terry Jenkins. And that was a break. Four out of four on the doubles. The demeanour of Jenkins is businesslike, authoritative. Sportsmen talk a lot about the, the zone. Uh, Jenkins looks like a man in the zone. I'm honest, I expect nothing else from Terry. He is one of the most reliable throwers in the world of darts today. You know what you're going to get from Terry. And that is 100%. And the crowd, again, airing their views on who their favourite is. I have to say, in all honesty, I, I think this is the best six legs I've seen Terry Jenkins put together consecutively it's just so consistent a couple of missed darts at 18 but hit every double three 180s look at this now though oh, well picked off but it really has been so consistently top quality hasn't it it's uh, reminiscent of what 20 minutes ago Ronnie Baxter 100. putting in a performance that we kind of thought that had left him all the way through this event Ronnie has got better and better and if he can play like that again in the semis he's going to have a chance Terry is doing the same playing beautifully wow I could leave tops here what are you looking for Adrian 180 leaves tops man 140 yeah AD did not 16. like the light of the second dart it just hanged down a bit perfect marker tops a nice high dart from Terry in the big 20. It made the double top look slightly bigger. AD has got to stop the rock. He's not doing a lot wrong, but Terry Jenkins is doing everything right. Five out of five on the doubles. I've seen finishing streak like this from Simon Whitlock a couple of years back in the Premier League when he hit seven and had a seven. Oh, this, this is tasty. This is terrific from Terence. That's his fourth of the match. We keep going on about trebles for show and doubles for doe. He's doing both. He carries on. He, he wins, simply. Even the talent of Adrian Lewis cannot stop. 
Terry in this fall. He's, he's not relenting one bit. Michael Van Gerwen holds the highest average of the comp so far, 104 and change. That is being dwarfed by this torrent of trebles from Jenkins. Another great marker. He will use it. 100. I've got a marker and I'm going to use it. 81 left, Wayne, and only nine darts thrown. 137. Another so quick leg. 81. Travel 19. That leaves 62. Will he go for the treble or the single 12? Now he wants the ball for the ball. 56. Adrian Newport, 134. Got to go, Rod. Might go. 80 left. Well, two double tops. That's what he's. That's what he's thinking about. That's what's in his mind. Do I go two double tops? He did, and he went just over the top. And again, which is a card of sin the second time, if not the first. 17, double four for 6 2. Well, as you can see, he's moved over. That's not the greatest marker in the world for Terry. 17. Well, Adrian Lewis may live to rue the fact that he missed with his last start. He missed tops, tops. Now he's going to hit tops, tops. Give him another shot and he will punish you. The world champ showing the class. Impudence. There's not many professional darts players with three darts in their hands would go tops, tops. They know their opponent won't like it. They know that. Especially not after missing it previously. But we all love a game where the two players are just banging them in for fun. The pace is excellent. The standard is excellent. What more do you want on a Friday afternoon? 59. Well, Jenkins missed the ball and then two darts at double four. And I wonder how important they may turn out to be because without those missed darts, there wouldn't have been the tops, tops from Lewis. And it would have been 6 2. It isn't, it's 5 3. 57. Terry's first dart, if it's not in, it's just below. 60. Which is giving him every chance because he likes to stack on top. Another. Another. Four apiece. Four maximums apiece. We're only in the ninth leg of this contest. May well have turned on that last leg, the eighth of the match. Lewis's audacious double top, double top finish. Terry working out what's left. Probably go for a 60 here. 79. Oh. That was not good. It was the only thing he could hit up there that didn't leave a finish. That is a mini error. One hundred. Well, the single five left him out of range. He's in range now. 83. Oh, the treble 17 was what he wanted. It's not a bad lead, but will he come back for it? 51, 32 for 5 4. In for the 80. Finish in the previous leg was super. That was clinical. It was never in doubt. It really wasn't. Yeah, that 80 finish has made the difference. So often it's, we talk about Adrian Lewis's 180s, but it's that 180 that has made all the difference, isn't it? Well, credit to Adrian Lewis here. He has rode the storm, hasn't he? Because Terry come out with everything. These first 10 legs, you will not see better. But Adrian Lewis has chances to possibly go in at 5-all at the break. Which, when you think how Terry has played, will be some achievement. That's four. That's five perfect darts. That was pure adrenaline. The inch too high was pure adrenaline. 
seen two. Nine darters this way. We've seen ten maximums in this match in ten legs. That is extraordinary. 100. Plays 105. Terry Jenkins, 105 average. Now, treble 17. He's 84. He may go for a 48 if he cannot see... Well, he decided 62. to go for the ball until he's 59. Will he get a shot? This for the lead at the interval. It's on. He's going to get one dart at double top. He hasn't missed this yet. He has now. 96. Adrian Newport, 59. That is a let off. Single 19. Double top. Double 10. What a dart from the world champ. Goes in at the break, five all, and full credit to Adrian Lewis. He's kept this match alive by stemming the tide. This is a clap. Terry Jenkins missed a couple of darts at double four and one at the ball in the eighth leg, and Lewis went out with two double tops on 80. And and Could have been 6-2. It As it is, it's five all. That looks like a possibly pivotal moment in the match. Jenkins can't afford to dwell on it. And he isn't dwelling 100. on it. Got a switch and does. Oh, indeed, and does. AD looking now as confident as Terry. Again, every time Terry is missing the treble, the marker is perfect. 100. Adrian Lewis has had two comprehensive wins. 16. He's only played 30 legs in the tournament so far. Jenkins has played 43. Shouldn't make any difference, but as the tournament progresses, the quicker you can get the job done, the easier it is as you go through, isn't it? I think anything with less stress is, is best, isn't it? 140 leagues, 167. I've been disappointed there, AD. The 61st start really was perfect for the way he throws. But he didn't capitalise. Terry. I thought he might switch, but... Well, he did in the end. Not a great dart. Speaking of which... Speaking of which, not a great three darts because Jenkins now has half a dozen from 115, which he couldn't have expected. And if you are going to make a hash of a leg, make it on your opponent's throw. You don't want to be broken with 99 throwing bad arrows. Now, AD made a mess of his last throw, trying to redeem himself and does. Puts a bit of pressure on this double eight to regain the lead the lead is regained 6-5 to Jenkins race to 16 remember it's a better first start from 80 unlucky Adrian Lewis has been playing professional darts since January 2004 and by the end of this tournament he could be the world's number one player if he matches Phil Taylor's performance or better him, he will overtake the power at the top of the world rankings. Whether you think that makes the system open to question or not is a different debate. 140. I can guarantee you one thing, he's not thinking about that right now. Terry Jenkins is his problem. Terry really has been a spoiler throughout his, his whole career. He's just not one of these players that... He's, he's not a, an Adrian Lewis, he's not a Gary Anderson, he's not one of these flamboyant players. But my goodness, he gets the job done. He really does. I wouldn't want to play him every day for a living, I'll tell you. Jenkins is currently ranked 10th in the world. Good dart. 100. Adrian Newport, 161. Now, 161. One. Got to get a treble. Gets one. Oh, he's on that 80 again. Will he go? Tops, tops, Wayne. I bet he doesn't.
93. I think he Adrian will. Lupois, 80. Tops, tops for 80. Well, that was a that was a a kind of safe tops. Tops. 41. Whoa, just not enough oomph in that dark. Catches the flight and drops into the one. Yeah, the safe tops and the second one camouflage the the double, and it could be costly. It won't be. Terry Jenkins has gone for a, a, a few treble 18s in this match and more often than not he's hit the four okay that's a treble four but it's the four bed 48 Aiden Lupin 39 now seven to 32 for a level game six legs each nothing to separate these two at all One hundred and fourteen. No, I haven't seen a one eighty with two legs. Just the ten in the previous ten, though. Brilliant covering from Adrian Lewis. Spoke about the importance of the cover shots. They win you matches, and when you are around the board finishing, 16. if you are covering, they give you the confidence to take out the one six ones, the one six sevens you've been hitting the other trebles so regular 140 two more quarterfinals tonight live on Sky Sports 1 HD from 7 o'clock Andy Hamilton against Phil Taylor Michael Van Gerwen against James Wade gosh I hope they're as good as this well, the 11th 180 of this match there hadn't been one the two and a bit legs, so the, yeah, the standard's slacking. It's shocking standard, two legs without a maximum. What's going on up there, guys? Pull your fingers out. Incredible standard, it really is. Bullseye! 180, followed by a 1-2-1. One, one. Here we go again. 140. Nonchalant. Well, we're watching a completely different attitude from Adrian Lewis tonight during the Andy Smith game. He seemed to be almost disinterested in proceedings. It was like an air of boredom had enveloped him. But this is much more businesslike. This is what we expect to see from the two-time world champion who's hit five maximums tonight. This afternoon. Adrian in his first game averaged 100. And beating Robert Thornton. And this was the way he was playing. Another 180. 12 180s. No, no, you're wrong. 13 180s. Now we may go double 18. Well, he did. That was the correct way to go. Well, he's just taken this out, Rod. Can he do it again? Well, he went 180, 121 last time. Oh, can he do it again? Is it darting deja vu? The ball! Oh, darting deja vu! You've seen it somewhere before, Adrian. It was about three minutes ago, pal. It's 8 6 to Terry Jenkins. That was a body blow. Adrian Lewis looked stunned. Did he really do that? Did he really do that, he thought? I'm afraid he did. TJ is 8-6 up, and Adrian Lewis is doing nothing wrong. 137. Well, Adrian Lewis must feel that he's in some kind of Groundhog Day-style nightmare, watching the same six darts over and over again. 180-121. 180-121. Absolutely incredible. What a dart from the champ. 100. Moved over to the left. Opens up the bed. Hits the 60. He needs every 60 he can get in this match because Terry is in inspired 100. form. 104 average after 14 legs. 
16. Lewis was three legs down at 5-2. He's certainly in the form to fashion a fight back here. Jenkins is in prime form. This is fantastic. 125. Oh, another two of them. Brilliant darts from Adrian Lewis. Putting all the pressure on Terry Jenkins' his throw here. Now he's already missed tops for a 116 previously. Will he miss tops this time? No, he won't because he's not even going to get a shot. Terry threw the dart in disgust. Well, then he's chucked a treble 14, which could add to his problems. Lewis wants tops. Well, Terry Jenkins just Terry tossed the third seven. dart away. What on earth was he thinking of? Crass stupidity. Will he be made to pay? Double two. Three. Well, I've Eight got to say, I think Terry got his just desserts. You do not throw a dart away like that in anger. To go 8-7. Tops. Last dart. 20. Missed it. My goodness, that could be costly. He's got another chance. Double two. He's got it. Terry Jenkins has got it. He's got it to out for a ride. This is a brilliant performance. Jenkins is three legs clear of the world champion, who is in a little bit of a hole at the Winter Gardens. Jenkins, could he reach the semis again? He Jenkins still needs seven more. The fact that he's playing the world champion means that he's only a fractional favourite for this game, even with a three-leg lead. Jenkins, six to four on to win it. Lewis, 11 to 10 against, so not as much between the pros and the players as you might expect at this stage, given the way Jenkins is playing. 121. Well, the, the crowd are now supporting Adrian. Because he's behind, they want to see him make a match of it. Well, it has been a great match so far, and there's loads more darts in this. Terry's got to win another seven. It's only just over halfway. Dish up some more, fellas. Dish up some more of this. And it is only one breaker throw between the players. Delightful darts from the world champion. That's his seventh of the match, Wayne. Seven apiece. Seven 180s apiece. We're just over halfway through the second match, and there's been 30 already today. That's a lot of treble battering. It's the wrong treble. 1 2, 161. Out of ball, perhaps, yeah. 72. Well, probably just about enough, but who knows the way Jenkins is finishing. Yeah, I wouldn't say that he's not going to get this. Double ten. What an effort. That would have possibly shaken Adrian Lewis up. Tops, tops. Double ten. This is big now. This is big, and Lewis knows it. Takes a step back. And misses. Terry wants 10 to reach 10. Single one. He hit this in the last leg. Double two. Gets it again. Adrian Lewis look up at the scoreboard. Change from nine to ten. Four legs behind. Now, if Terry can hold throw, with five legs in front. That is a good buffer. Slipped and he wipes his fingers on his shirt and hits the treble 20. Yet, yeah. 3rd of January 2011, when Adrian Lewis became world champion for the very first time. He won it again last year, but he just hasn't 100. fired away from the big Ali Pali stage. His talent is greater than the number of trophies he's picked up so far. I think that's fair to say, Wayne. It is, but to be honest, if you are going to fire anywhere, make it the World oh, yes. Championships. 16. Oh, yeah. He could have won so much more. Still only 27. Plenty of time. 
really has got the talent to win everything. Oh, king of the palace, but is he to be the master of the Winter Gardens as well in 2012? Not if Terry Jenkins keeps throwing darts like that. 15th, 180 in this match, halfway through the 17th leg. I hope it goes all the way, he absolutely bundles. And so does Adrian Lewis, Wayne. Because never mind going all the way, it's only going one way at the moment. 41. That is a blunder. It's a bit of a schoolboy error from Terry. Should have made sure that if he's going for the 60, it goes high and out of trouble. Leaves an easier shot. 100. Just needed to stay straight, Terry as we say. 99. Indeed. Treble 19. Now, will he go tops, tops? Adrian tried it. Adrian succeeded. 59. It was well, a, the second time of asking he succeeded. Yeah, it was a single one that did the damage, wasn't it? For Terry Jenkins there. Meant he didn't get a dart at a double. And Lewis couldn't, well, he, he just couldn't get it through there or over it or round it into the treble 16. 20. So Jenkins back for tops and a five leg lead, Wayne. Five leg lead it. Indeed, tops. May have to move to the right there. He's got to move. He's got to move. He's moved to the centre of the hockey. 20. The first half did the damage. Reprieved the world champ. Tops. Big, big reprieve for Adrian Lewis. Could have been staring down both barrels. He's still staring down one barrel. But that double top has hauled him back to within three legs. Very important. When he looked over at the table with his family on there, as if to say, come on, we can do this. And then he follows up with a 180. Gives it the big celeb. Brilliant. Eight 180s apiece. Adrian Lewis looking for his third semi-final appearance at the match play. Now he's looking for a straight maximum to follow the other one. And we came down. 177 would have left him on the nine data still. Well, he apologises to the crowd. Did he just say sorry? Yeah, he apologised. Oh, my goodness. Apologised for not doing a nine data. One That's the standard we've reached after two this week from Van Gerwen and Newton. When I play, I cannot apologise that often. No. That would be wrong. Can't apologize enough, But I tell you what, it's a very, very good leg from Adrian Lewis, straight off the back of that steal in the last leg. 105. Stop apologizing. Adrian, 84. Treble 20. Well, he should really go for 14, but knowing 80, he go treble 14. Well, he has given Terry Jenkins 44. a poke. One, five, six. Never give a chucker an even break. He's got away with it. He's got away with that, but that's lunacy. It's not even a ball finish, one, 16. five, six. I mean, you know, one, one, seventy, perhaps. But to move within two legs, double ten. Indeed, he does. Each leg is becoming more and more important. And this... It's a big leg for Terry Jenkins. Because if he wins this, he's guaranteed to lead at the break. If he loses, it could well 16. be 10 all. And then he will have something to ponder. There's been a couple of moments from Adrian Lewis in this match when he's uh, just 100. had another darting pop. The darting sense at Terry Jenkins, the two double tops when he was on 80 with three in his hand, and then leaving him to have a go at the 156. That's almost saying, I don't think you're going to take it out. I don't think you're up to it. it, it it's, a, it's designed to get a reaction. Th that's exactly what it's for. It's a bit of mind games. But 156, the way Terry throws, if he hits the 60, you've got to say he's probably an even money chance to hit another 60. And you do not give a professional darts player one dart at a double. That will that would have hurt, but okay, job done. He won the leg. Yeah, it certainly worked for Adrian Lewis. The means justified the end. No question about that. 
Wipes his hands, steps back. Well, that Where worked, didn't five? it? Neck and neck in the 19th. On the Jenkins throw. 100. Big travel. Looking for two trebles now. 66. Indeed he does. Puts in the pressure on now. Treble 19. He's got a chance, Rod. 69. I'm going to get at least one dart and a double, and he hopes to get two at a double to move to within one. Yes, two at double 18. One at double 18. Come on, that's rubbish, he said. That wasn't rubbish the second dart, but it was right on the wire, and on the wire isn't in. Double eight now. An 11 8 lead. Got to come inside. 16. Doesn't look happy, does he? Gives the world champ a chance. Now he wants double nine. This is getting edgy. Edgy, edgy, edgy. Edgy of your seat, more like. Big leg, 19th leg, double eight. He's missed four for this. He's missed five. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Lewis has missed five. Jenkins has missed six. Lady, looking at the scoreboard. Look up, and he wants nine. That leaves double four. Brilliant marker. Must use it. Well, he tried, but it went on the outside, not the inside. Massive leg rod. Well, we have that heavenly patch of darts at the start of this game. This is the opposite. Double four. They've missed seven apiece at a double. Double two. Finally. Finally. Terry Jenkins lands a double. Terry Jenkins insinuating that Adrian Lewis was chatting, mouthing off, whatever you want to call it, spouting off. And he gesticulated, have that. Wow, there's a bit of needle up there. That is literally the raging bull. 140. Jenkins is incessant. He's absolutely incandescent with rage. Look at him. He is fuming. Furiously. Oh, I've never seen Terry Jenkins like that, have you? No. One of the most placid men you'll ever meet in your life. The ball doesn't actually suit him. Adrian Lewis trying to leave 170. He's now left 145 with two bullseyes. But Terry. Looking at Adrian after he hits the double, says, have some of that. Well, this is the last leg of this session. It's been interesting to see exactly how these two players leave the stage. And what the score is. Well, Jenkins leaves 95. You do not want to get in a tungsten tussle with Terry. Treble 17 misses. Now go for treble 10. This is a chance. This is a real chance to go 12 8 up. Can still do it. Treble 18. 94 left. No, no, no. So Lewis back for 56. Adrian Newbar, 56. Tops for Lewis. Double 10. He's got it. Well, Terry Jenkins, Jenkins is boiling Lewis. like a kettle up on the big stage. Lewis has hauled himself back. There's going to be some, well, there's some words exchanged. I'm not sure if that was a chocular jab from Terry Jenkins, but they leave the stage with the raging ball. Two legs in. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Jenkins. He's on fire early on the game. Now he's furious. 
But the daft thing is, whatever happened 16. up there, Lewis may well have had the desired effect here because ever since Terry Jenkins hit that double two, he's gone off the boil in terms of his darts, hasn't he? So maybe, maybe Lewis has got to him. Well, the averages have dropped. Mind you, they had to. They were astronomical at one point. Terry was averaging 107. He's now averaging 96. 123. But it's now about the match. It's about the matchup between these two minds. 58. As Adrian Lewis annoyed Terry so much that he has gone off the boil. Or will Terry fight like he normally does and puts people in their place? 114. Well, we've both known Terry Jenkins for a very long time and neither of us have ever seen him like that. 96. That was just hockey rage, wasn't it? It was. Good leg from Terry. Want to build on that. 100. There you go. The stack up. Straight into the treble. Could well leave 84. And does. That's a big celeb for a 180. He's ninth of the match. 20. The tops pressured by the max from Lewis. Pressured by Lewis and the ninth 180 from the world champ has earned him the right to have a stab at this. Double 12. Takes his time. Gets it. Only one leg in it now. 11 10 to Terry Jenkins. And that was a break. We can now have a level game if it goes according to Adrian's plans. Early in the game, a couple of times we saw Jenkins go 180, 121 out. We just saw Lewis go 180, 84 out. And a 140 start. It's looking long odds on, a level game and 11 each. Great fight back by Lewis. Really is. 121. Treble 20 in the 20 bed. He's looking very worn indeed. Just wonder if this continues. 44. They may ask for it to be moved, uh, to be changed. Because when you get marks on, on the, the black bit of the 20, sometimes you can see it. 100. You can kind of sticks out and rather than focusing on the 60 like you should, as you know, I was always 100% concentrating. But there are marks and they shouldn't be there. 95. See them. There they are, marks all over it. It's been the treble five when Wayne was playing, but the treble 20 here. And that 28. is a sloppy dart because Lewis has thrown his best leg here, Wayne, has he? And Jenkins has not taken advantage. Seems to have got to him. 100. The shenanigans, the bring back Terry's tash. Well, Terry Jenkins shaved his famous tash off for charity. And uh, decided to keep it off. 44. I think he looks younger. Not so sure, Terence. 48. Lewis is 27. Won't go out here. But Adrian Lewis, the worst it ever got, the biggest the Jenkins lead was 90. four legs at 10 6. Lewis is looking to level here. 16. 16 for Adrian 94. Lewis. For a, a level game 22. after 22 legs. Games on the 22nd leg. Adrian Lewis. Troubling times for Terence. Terry Jenkins has lost three legs straight since he went off like a bonfire night firework display at the back end 16. of the 19th. Lady, definitely the better player at the moment. Terry, got to come down. 96. Doesn't like the dart above the treble. Whilst that's perfect. 99. Adrian Lewis. 
has never been ahead in this quarter-final at the World Match Play. Trailed from the get-go, lost the first leg. And the best he's done ever since is to be level with Jenkins. He's got half a chance here to take the lead for the very first time, at a good time. That helps the calls, and that one. Another 140 from Terry. He's 15th in this match. We really need to treble. Oh, that could be absolutely vital because that really gets him within range and asks the question of Terry the Bull. Treble 18. Gets it. Double 16 from Massive 105. 89. Asian Newcomer 112. Well, 1-1-2 is a good one, isn't it, Wayne? Because he only needs to find a treble 20 with one of his first two darts, but that is not what he wanted because that is a horrible, horrible light. Goodness, I thought he'd squeeze it in, but he hasn't. Yeah, the first dart was the undoing there. You've got to keep high when you have them combination shots. Double eight. Gets it. Terry Jenkins now leads 12-11. In this brilliant quarter-final here at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool. Winter Wonderland. Wonderful darts from Jenkins and Lewis. Serving up a real treat here. Already seen Ronnie Baxter romp to victory over Justin Pipe to book his ticket to the semi-final. Both players form a slightly dipped exactly at the same time rod that's what i find quite interesting 100. it's like they're, they're now both playing each other rather than when you get a, a format this drawn out this long you go through periods where you just play the board and see how it pans out for a while but then you start playing 100. the man 35. then you start thinking right i tried to get to him which adrian seemed to do that before terry tried it but now they've both gone off the boil 16. Well, earlier on in the game We've seen three breaks to throw a piece, and while they were significant, they weren't absolutely crucial. Any break now could be the decisive one because we're really at the business end, and this could be the break for Jenkins. Yeah, I could not agree more. He's coming down, needs the treble as well. Terry Jenkins setting up a potential break to move two legs clear. Look for a treble 20. He will stay there. 100. Gets one. Great last start. He really does battle it out, doesn't he, Terry? Well. Oh, a bounce out. A bounce out at a horrible, horrible time for the world champion. 57 points on the floor. And now Terry Jenkins is looking at double top and he's got time on his side because the bounce out meant Lewis couldn't finish that's how important it was oh the importance of the bounce out there leaving the 165 means that Terry he, he could have relaxed on that shot and look it's easy to say the 57 goes in and he could have taken that out in hindsight but Terry now double 10 for 13 11 and gets it what a big leg that could turn out to be and Adrian Lewis, he was doing a Phil Taylor there, but in his flights. Well, he would have left 108, wouldn't he? And we'll never know whether he would have taken it out, but he would have at least had a chance, Wayne, wouldn't he? And that's all you ever say as players. I just want a chance. I wish he would have given me a shot. Well, it didn't work out that way. 16. Lady, the 140s, 180s have dried up the last couple of legs. Now... Terry Jenkins back in the groove. Well, he had that little bit of luck. A crucial bounce out from his opponent. And let's not forget, way back at the start of the tournament, Kim Hydrex missed eight shots to knock Terry Jenkins out in the first round. And now he's only three legs away from the semi final. 16. Ronnie Baxter is already there. It's a good dart from 80. They might have to switch there. He's their room. 100. I'm not sure there was, but he went for it. Terry. 
looking for a 180 to leave double 12. Surely. 140. Tell you what though, Wayne, if you'd offered 140 before he threw a dart, he'd have taken that, said I won't bother throwing. He's left 64. He's left 64 to lead by three. Against Kim Hybrex. Terry got stronger. Against Barney. Terry finished the stronger. Against Adrian Lewis. He's finishing the stronger. Rod Harrington is uh, in studio with me, and Rod stood to the conclusion here. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, bare pit atmosphere in the Winter Gardens. A bit like being back at the old Circus Tavern out there, Wayne. The crowd in an absolute frenzy here as Lewis and Jenkins do battle for a place in the semi final. Lewis is two legs away from defeat. Jenkins is two legs away from playing either Van Gerwen or Wade in the final four. Well, with the atmosphere as it is right now, tonight is going to be jumping. Sky Sports 1, 7 o'clock, final to the finals. There's a couple more legs to play in this, that's for sure. Adrian Lewis has got to come out after that break, firing on all cylinders. Otherwise, Terry Jenkins will coast to victory. Well, it's only a subplot, but if Lewis loses this match and Phil Taylor wins his tonight, Taylor will leave the Winter Gardens definitely as still well, the world there. number one. But that will not be of any relevance to Lewis now. Fighting for his life in the world match play. Terry on the last three legs with a mini blitz. 16. Andrew Lewis slightly went off the boil in those three legs. Great last start, great first start, there's the ball with the devil's horns, the men's confused. Well, Lewis coming back for 80, double top, double top, 16. successfully once in three attempts. What have you got for us this time? Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? For a time like this? No, nope, not for me. You make sure you go inside like you done previously. Don't put yourself under any unnecessary stress. Now, tops. Got to get it. Got to get it, Adrian. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Really well done. Because the heat had reached boiling point on that big stage. That was pressure because had he missed... He was looking like going 15-11 behind into the break of defeat. That was bottle from the world champion. Well, it was also clever darts. It was also professional darts because even though the two darts that were to the right of the double top, the whole of the left bed and the centre was open. They decided to move over to the left, to throw to the right to come off the marker. It was easier hitting the right-hand side. What a time to get your ninth match of the match. Jenkins, the consummate pro, knowing if he holds throw in this leg and then once more, he's home. He's through to the semi-finals. Terry, it's a single 20. He will switch, but he didn't. He hit a treble, followed by another treble. This is fantastic from the ball. He's just hit 10 180s. Two on the trot there. The English language is barely a powerful enough tool to describe how good that was from Jenkins. Just when it mattered. 17 for Tops. For an 82 clean up. Absolutely fantastic. 180, 180, 82. That is absolutely wonderful. One leg away from the match. Devastated. Adrian Lewis knows that he, in about two or three minutes, may be walking off that stage. Called a final loser in another major that's gone a begging. Unless he can pull out darts of the highest quality and stop the ball.
One more leg for Terry. This is not the leg though, Wayne, is it? Terry Jenkins will be delighted to win it, don't get me wrong, but he knows the next leg, which will be the 29th leg of this match, when he has the darts, is the one. Oh, indeed. Lady just wants to win this leg. Put the pressure on Terry's throw. Well, he's not going to do it like that. This is now the opportunity. He has made for himself. It will go for treble. 20 now to leave a possible 1 7 0. Twice a beaten finalist in the match play. It's 2012 going to be the year that Terry Jenkins finally wins a big one. He's not going to go out on the big one. But this is great stuff. Well, that's good enough. It leaves 65. Adrian, all he can do is put pressure on the 65. Treble 15 now to leave tops. He hasn't got it. Terry Jenkins wants 65 for a place in the Betfair World Match Play semi-finals. That's 52 left, so 12. He's knocked out Van Barneveld. Is he going to knock out Lewis? He's knocked out the five times world champion, Van Barneveld. He has knocked out the defending world champion, Adrian.